So today we are going to analyze Prince William's tribute to Queen Elizabeth. Now, just for some quick background, Prince William posted a tribute to the late Queen Elizabeth on Twitter, and I'm gonna break it all down for you. Now, before we get started, I wanna say I'm not for or against the royal family. I'm only analyzing the quality of writing here. And what you're about to learn is basically how to pay tribute to someone dedicated to public service. So some quick notes, I copied the message into, the, into this presentation so we can analyze it paragraph by paragraph. Link is in the description below, and I will issue my score of Prince William's tribute at the end of this video. And I think you're gonna be a little surprised, especially when I show you what he did wrong. So for some context, what is the queen's role? Because I think this is very important to understand this before I get into the actual language. So the sovereign acts as a focus for national identity, unity, and pride, gives a sense of stability and continuity, officially recognizes success and excellence, and supports the ideal of voluntary service. And that's from the royal family's website. So why would you listen to me? My name is Michael Camo, and I've written 10 million things, tweets, love letters, press releases, apologies, articles, um, even crazy stuff like online dating ads, so I've pretty much done it all. And my writing has been cited by the New York Times, the Wall Street Journal, Reuters, etc, etc. Pause the video if you really want to look at all this stuff. So let's jump into it. Paragraph one. On Thursday, the world lost an extraordinary leader whose commitment to the country, the realms, and the commonwealth was absolute. So much will be said in the days ahead about the meaning of her historic reign. Now, Prince William focused on the country over his own family, which is a very big thing. He didn't start by saying, I miss my granny, my grandmother died. No, he made it about the country. And this fits exactly with the queen's image because she was known for her absolute dedication in her role as monarch. And, you know, she wasn't the type of person to like have a sore throat and take the day off. Like she was hardcore until, until the end doing her duty. So this is just an amazing start. Now we get a little bit personal. I, however, have lost a grandmother. And while I grieve her loss, I also feel incredibly grateful. I've had the benefit of the queen's wisdom and reassurance into my fifth decade. So he adds a personal touch to avoid seeming cold because because if this went really deep into it without mentioning the fact that it's his grandmother, it would seem a little cold. So this is good. Now, paragraph three, my wife has had 20 years of her guidance and support. My three children have got to spend holidays with her and create memories that will last their whole lives. And again, just more personal touch shows the queen was also dedicated to family and not just the country. Next, she was by my side at my happiest moments and she was by my side during the saddest days of my life. And again, this is another personal touch because to me, this seems like a reference to the death of Princess Diana, who was Prince William's mother. And this sort of emphasizes the queen's image as a rock that, you know, she was always going to be there for the country and she was always going to be there for her family. Next, I knew this day would come, but it will be some time before the reality of life without granny will truly feel real. And again, this is just another good personal touch because he uses granny, which makes it feel even more personal and also makes us think of our own grandmothers and we might call them grandma or granny or whatever it is. So again, just like nice personal touch. I thank her for the kindness she showed my family and me, and I thank her on behalf of my generation for providing an example of service and dignity in public life that was from a different age, but always relevant to us all. And again, this is about just about the Queen's legacy. My grandmother famously said that grief was the price we pay for love. Now, that, that's a great sentence. I have to stop and say that's just a, a beautiful sentence. All of the sadness we will feel in the coming weeks will be testament to the love we felt for our extraordinary queen. So this gives us insights into the queen's wisdom. And I have to say it again, that sentence is fantastic. My grandmother famously said that grief was the price we pay for love. It's, it's poetry. In saying we and our unifies the audience. It's not the queen, it's our queen, which is great. I will honor her memory by supporting my father, the king, in every way I can. And this is beautiful because it lets us know William is following the queen's example that he's also going to dedicate his life to public service. So let's talk about what William did wrong. Can you guess? I'll, I'll just give you a couple seconds to think about it. What did William do wrong? And I'm going to tell you, you might be shocked, it is absolutely nothing. This is as close to perfect as it gets. So what did he do right? He put country first, which is what the queen is all about. He added personal touches to warm our hearts. He honored the queen's legacy, and he made a personal commitment to carrying on that legacy. So this brings us to our final score. I'll give you a couple of seconds, just think about it. And here it is, my score is... 96 out of 100 he just absolutely nailed it so guys if you enjoyed this video like comment subscribe all that stuff i have more writing videos coming soon talk to you later bye